twice. I mean, two hat tricks in a game. Yeah. First of all, have you ever seen that? Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe back in minor hockey days, you know, when you're just a little kid, but that's definitely a first, you know, in uh, meaningful hockey like this. You know, it's something special just to see. Um, you know, Nuj having a hat trick in the first period. Like, that's a career for me right now. So, yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's always good to see guys like that get rewarded. And um, you know, we're all pushing for Leon to score 50, so that's obviously pretty special too. Um, you know, it goes a long way scoring a hat trick to get there. So um, you know, we're just all hopeful for that and we're gonna Leon's try and help him to get there. Sorry, <laughs> no, good. No, you're good. Uh, Leon's one of those guys who said he sacrificed a lot of those goals to make the playoffs. What do you think of just kind of the, the personal sacrifice of a lot of these guys that they just give those points to? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, we wouldn't be in the position we are without those goals either. So, um, you know, he's just trying to be a humble guy. That's the kind of guy he is. And that's how everyone is in the dressing room. So, um, you know, we're just going to keep pushing. Obviously, those guys are leading the way. So, um, you know, us young guys, we just got to keep following like that. And, uh, you know, it's we might have to win out the rest of the year, but that's definitely, uh, you know, not doable. It's, uh, um, you know, it's something that we're really striving for. And obviously, starts in practice today, you know, just back to work and starts at a big game against Dallas tomorrow. We've heard the age-old statement, you can't get too high and you can't get too low, especially in the National Hockey League. So how do you guys keep an even keel after the night you guys had last night? Well, you just try not to look too far down the road. Uh, you know, you try and take it just the next game. But, um, you know, it's kind of hard to look like that. You know, we're all excited for the, for the push here. And, um, you know, obviously you're standing watching a little bit. But, um, you know. We just gotta take care of ourselves and uh, you know hope for the best. Uh, tonight, there's a there's a pretty important game for you guys in terms of the team that you're chasing. Colorado's playing Vegas. Do you guys maybe get together and watch that at all, or do you? Is, do no, you just... I mean you know we spend a lot of time at the ring together, so we'll come in in the morning and everyone will watch the highlights. And um, you know this time of year it's it's pretty busy, so sometimes it's nice to just go home and shut down. Um, obviously, spend time with some family and. Um, you know your loved ones. It's uh, you know obviously good to have a little bit of a balance like that, but at the same time, it's it's always going to be in the back of your head, and um, but, you know we just got to take care of ourselves. How often do you check your phone in terms of standings? Uh, probably once or twice a night, and then obviously in the morning, it's you know you catch up, sit down, have some breakfast, and watch watch the highlights, and um, you know there's not a whole lot you can do to control it, right? So overlooking it's uh, you know just out of stress that a person doesn't need and. You know, everyone in this room just, you know, has the belief in them. And, um, you know, obviously that was a big win last night, and we just got to keep it rolling.